Yeah, hi there. These comments are for IA, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the 7-step system to pass a TOEFL IBT, and you're also one of my English language program students at California State University, San Bernardino, and you have completed the pretest in the pronunciation section of my course. So, um, let's take a look here. So you say, thanks for the wonderful way you handled our lectures last week. I felt we are in good hands and about to solve so pressing issues in our means of communication. And you're welcome, and I'm, I'm certainly glad to have you as one of my students, and I will do my best. I'm not perfect, but I will do my best to help you as much as I can so that you can speak more clearly with your parishioners in your congregation. All right, so now let's take a look at your pretest. So I already downloaded it and we'll get started now. Okay, now with the word, it's not wrong, but wrong, grow. So that R sound, you're pronouncing it a little bit really, really hard, but we don't do that in English. So again, it's wrong, grow. Over, father, through, but. So the word here is father, er, father, and then though, though. So practice these with me one more time. Pot, boat. Wrong, grow. Honor, over. Father, though. Pot, up, mop, pack, talk, and on, mac, mock. So I think you can work on this one a little bit. So lesson number eight. Pat, pot, map, mop. Tack, talk, and on. Bright, brown, broil. Again, so it's a, it looks like that consonant cluster, when you have the R in a consonant cluster with the B, you're saying like bright, brown, broil, but I'm saying bright, brown, broil. Loud. So pound, pound, brown. Okay. Get, lit, let, bit, met. No, no, it's long, short. You're kind of doing two short vowel sounds. Watch this. Gate, get. Late, let, mate, met. Lit, led, then, then. Now, this is very tough for you. Lesson number 10, you really need to focus on this. Because if you're not pronouncing that, that longer vowel sound, gate, late, mate, blade, dane, it's going to be difficult for your parishioners to understand what you're saying. Beat. 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 Lip. Lip. Sit. 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 Boop. Now this is tough. This is really tough for you. So let's work on this one. So you have E, E. E, E. So let's try the first pair. Meet, met. Pete, pit. Leap, lip. Seat, sit. Heat, hit. So that one's also hard. You're saying mostly meet, meet, pete, pete, leap, leap. Seat, seat. So meet, met. You have to make that, again, longer sound, shorter sound. This time you're having more trouble with the shorter sound and making a difference between those two vowels. Buck. Took. 
Tough. Cold. It's not a TH, but tough. 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 Cool. Match. Mash. Cheap. Sheep. No, no, no. Cheap. Sheep. Match. Mash. Fisher. Fisher. Chef. But Fisher. 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 Shaft. Shear. Shear. Now you need to work on that one too. That's lesson number 13. Off. Off. Half. Have. Fine. Fine. Nice. Fun. Fun. Good. Waff. Wave. No, it's wafer, waver. Off of. Half, have. Fine, vine. You're actually pronouncing the V, I think, pretty good. You're making sure your tongue is kind of uh, behind your teeth. Van. Van. How? Habit. Behave. Hate. Bad man. Living. Important. Brightening. Attract. Threatened. Measure. Jo. Fragile. Okay, let's go back. <coughs> Excuse me. Lesson number 15. With this one, you're, you're running into trouble with the glottal stop. This is a distinctly American vowel, uh, consonant sound. So you have Batman, bitten. No, Batman, bitten, important, brightening, hat rack. Not hat rack, but hat rack, hat rack. And then threatened, threatened. So with lesson 15, practice the glottal stop. That's the consonant sound you want to work on a little bit more. Okay, let me move back just for a minute, listen to the beginning of the next one. Asia. Asia. Fragile. Again, not fragile, but just fragile. Frasier. Don't Make that F harder than what it needs to be in English. Brazier. Legend. Lesson. No. Legion. Legion. Engine. Azure. Large. Asia. So I think lesson 16, you need to focus on that second sound. Measure. Frasier. Legion. Azure. Asia. That's the sound that you can uh, work on a little bit more. Kick. Keg. Sink. Sag. Okay. Kim. Kim. Cap. Cap. Pick. Lag. Okay. Lean. Rear. Pure. No, no, no. Not rear, but r rear. Rear, so the R sound. You kind of pronounce it, I don't speak your first language, but you, you pronounce the R kind of like they do in Spanish, especially when the R's at the beginning of the word or when it follows a consonant sound, you're pronouncing it kind of like that, but in English we don't pronounce it that way. So, rear. Luggage. Rugged. Buddha. It's rugged. Rugged, not rugged, but r rugged, rugged. Right, light, committed. Okay, lesson number 18, focus on the R, especially when the R is at the beginning of the word or when the R follows a consonant sound. That's what you got to work on right now in order to sound more... In order to have more intelligibility, you got to do that. Pace. Pace. Flap. Flap. Cap. Cap. Lap. Lap. Pay. Pay. 
I think you're getting there. You know how I can tell? When you're pronouncing the P sound, I can hear some of those explosive sounds getting into the microphone and causing some distortion, but that's good. That's a good thing. That means that you're pronouncing that sound correctly. Now let me just show you a couple of things here. With the, when the P is at the end of the word, for example the word flap, the P is a voiceless consonant, which means the vowel which precedes it's a little bit shorter. But when you put the B at the end of the word, and the B, remember, is a voice consonant, it's going to make the vowel which precedes it longer. So then, we don't say these, these two words exactly with the same duration. Flap, flab. Cap, cab. Lap, lab. You see that? That's what I'd like you to work on a little bit. So practice, when you go to lesson 19, focus on the P and the B, especially when they occur at the end of the word, and try to make a bit of a difference in terms of how long you make the vowel sounds in those cases. Remember, if the vowel is before the P, the vowel is shorter. If the vowel comes before the B, the vowel will be a little bit longer. Okay. Zip. Zip. Siu. Zu. Mas. Des. Elisa. Elisa. All right. Multiple. I think you're okay there, for the most part, with the S and the Z. Robot. Example. Pressure. Principle. Number. Okay, I want you to work on that that ER sound, the er, er. So practice these with me right now. We got Robert, pressure, number, philosopher. So just make that er a little bit longer than you're doing. So when you focus on lesson 21, focus on the er, the ER. Okay, now I'm going back. To your email and you also I think answered the three questions in part B so let's listen to that now okay hold on a minute oh, here we go I think I got it Okay, that was okay, so I think we have it. Okay, so what do we know now? Okay, based on the pretest, I can I can get you moving in the right direction. We now got a plan. How about that? Okay, write these down. Lesson number 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 15, 16, 18, 19, and also lesson number 21. These are the specific lessons right now that I think you should focus on in order to make improvements in your intelligibility. And here's what you want to do. Each lesson, when you go to lesson 8, in the pronunciation part of my course, for example, you might want to do that right now. Let's do it together. So go back to my website. Go to step 2. It says target and improve your pronunciation weaknesses. So you go to lesson 8. This is Pat Pot. Contrasting the vowels. There you go. So what I want you to do here is to go through the video, practice several times, reading out loud with me even, right? Read out loud with me, practice all the sounds, and then I want you to send me the voice recording for voice recording exercise one and voice recording exercise two. And then I will give you some additional feedback on these two vowel sounds. All right? Now, once we're good, and once we finish this lesson and I give you the green light, I'll say go on to the next lesson. Then you can go to lesson nine. You'll do the same thing. You'll practice. And then send me those two voice recordings. Then you'll do 10, 11, 13, 15, 16, 18, 19, and 21. That's it. That's kind of what you have to do in order to get better.
You see what we're saying? Okay, now, wait a minute here. So I think, I want you to also put this in your notes. Also, do lesson 22, 23, and 24. So, also send me the voice recording exercises for lesson 22, 23, and 24. And there we go. Now remember, that using my pronunciation course is not enough. You need to get a lot of exposure to the language. You can do this through watching movies, watching TV if you watch news, documentary history, and science type programs that's going to be useful. And find a lot of opportunities to speak English. That's also very, very important. Okay? Anyway, IA, thank you for uh, joining my course here at Cal State University San Bernardino. We are very, very excited to have you, and we will do our best. I will do my best to help you improve as much as you can during the quarter. And remember, I'm only an email away. I know that we see each other once a week on Thursdays, but if you need to contact me during the week, you can send me an email. Uh, you can even send me a text message if you need to. I put my phone number on the syllabus for you guys, so if you need to contact me that way, you can. All right? 